the first value of x, 3 plus square root of 7 over 2, and x equals 3 minus square root of 7 over 2. Hi everyone, this is Eric Dixman, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For this tutorial video, we are going to discuss how to solve quadratic equations using quadratic formula. So without further ado, let's begin. The solutions of the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, where yung a natin is not equal to 0 are given by the quadratic formula. And x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Para magamit natin yung quadratic formula, we have to rewrite the quadratic equation in the general form if necessary. Then, determine natin yung numerical values ng a natin which is the coefficient of x squared term yung b natin which is the coefficient of the x term and yung c natin which is the constant term and then is a substitute natin yung values of the a b and c into the quadratic formula and evaluate the expression so yung positive and negative sign natin indicates that there are two so but not necessarily distinct two solutions of the equation example number 1 Solve the quadratic equation 8x squared plus 2x minus 1 equals 0. So in this problem, the given equation is in the general form already. So ang gagawin na, na lang natin is identify natin yung values for a, b, and c. For a, a is the coefficient of the x squared term. We have positive 8. For b, we have positive 2. And for c, we have negative 1. Ito ngayon yung isi-substitute natin sa quadratic formula to solve for the two values of the x. Quadratic formula natin is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. In substituting the values of the a, b, and c, we have negative 2 plus or minus the square root of b natin is 2. 2 square minus 4 times a is 8, times c we have negative 1, over 2 times positive 8. Simplifying, we have x equals negative 2, plus or minus the square root of 2 square is 4, and 4 times 8 times negative 1 is Negative 32 times negative, we have positive 32. Over 2 times 8 is 16. X is equal to negative 2 plus or minus 4 plus 32 is 36. So this is square root of 36 na lang over 16. X is equal to negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 36 is 6 over 16. So now, we will evaluate this expression in two different ways na to obtain the two solutions. So, on the first solution, yung positive ang gagawin natin, ito, and on the second solution, yung negative na. For the positive first, x is equal to negative 2 plus 6 over 16. And for the negative, x is equal to negative 2 minus 6 over 16. So, dito muna tayo sa una, x is equal to negative 2 plus 6 is negative 4. And 4 over 16 is positive 1 over 4. Dito naman, negative 2 minus 6 is negative 8. And negative 8 over 16 is negative 1 half kapag sinimplify natin yung term. Therefore, ito yung ating solutions para sa quadratic formula na given sa example number 1. And the solution set is negative 1 half and 1 over 4. So this is example number 1. Example number 2. Solve the quadratic equation 2x squared minus 6x plus 1. The given equation is already in the general form again. So we will just identify the values for a, b, and c. For a, we have positive 2. For b, we have negative 6. And for c, we have positive 2. 1. Sa substitute na natin yung values na to ngayon to the quadratic formula and simplifying gives the equation solution. 
The quadratic formula is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. We have x equals, ang b natin is negative 6, so this is negative times negative 6 plus or minus the square root of b and negative 6 square minus 4 times a na 2 and c which is 1 over 2 times 2. x now is equal to negative times negative 6 is positive 6 plus or minus the square root of negative 6 square is positive 36 minus 4 times 2 times 1 is 8 so this is minus 8 over 2 times 2 is 4 x is equal to 6 plus or minus 36 minus 8 is 28 square root over 4. Pwede pa natin i-simplify yung square root of 28. This will be um, 4 times 7. Para yung 4, pwede natin kuhanin yung root. And ang matitira na lang dito is 2 times square root of 7. So, x is equal to 6 plus or minus 2 times square root of 7 over 4. So, pwede natin i-factor out yung 2 dito sa numerator natin. We have x equals, factor out natin yung 2, and this is now 6 divided by 2 is 3 na lang, plus or minus 2 divided by 2 is 1, or simply square root of 7 na lang ito, over 4 and pwede pa natin ulit i-simplify itong part na to. So, this is x equals 3 plus or minus square root of 7 over, this is 1 half na lang or 2 na lang ilalagay natin sa denominator. So, si separate na natin sila, we have the first value of x, 3 plus square root of 7 over 2 and x equals 3 minus square root of 7 over 2. Since these values are the simplest form, ibig sabihin, ito na yung solution natin for the two values of the x. So, the solution set is, sulat na lang natin as 3 plus or minus square root of 7 over 2. So, this is the answer for the quadratic equation in example number 2. Thank mm -hmm. you.